tough to imagine China in its place. Turkey is now the world's 17th largest economy. It is the largest Islamic economy. It is larger than Saudi Arabia. It also has the largest army, not only in the region, but probably the strongest military outside of Britain. And I personally would love to see a good fight between the Brits and the Turks just to find out who could do it. But the Turks could defeat the Germans in an afternoon and the French in an hour. It would not be a contest. The thing to understand about Turkey is not that it's going to be a great power that it is. And please remember that when President Obama left Europe in his rather unpleasant meeting with the Europeans, he went to Turkey. And he went to Turkey to talk about the future of Iraq. He went to Turkey to talk about Syria. He went to Turkey to set in motion the Armenian talks and a range of issues all of which the Europeans are helpless to help with, and which Turkey can. Whenever the Islamic world organizes itself, it is under Turkic power. And certainly for 500 years, the Ottoman Empire organized the Arab world and the entire region. That was a dominant power in the Mediterranean. Uh, all I'm saying here is that it is interesting to note that Turkish power has over the five years, past five years, emerged to the point that it's a dominant power. 